Well, guys, uh, today I'm going to be voting on what I feel like this is my personal opinion is the best rap project of all time. Now, the criteria will be um, a little bit different this time, so I'm going to do cultural impact, okay? And then what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to... Um, I'm going to then compare the album against the other album that it is up against. So, this is my personal opinion. There's no right or wrong answer. 128, and that's going to be a long-ass time. Oof. Uh, um. Okay. Lord willing, for sure. Alright. First one down. Call me if you get locked. Sorry. Call me if you get lost. Duh. Mm. Purple Moonlight Pages is great. I mean, listen. The main ingredient is. Nah, bruh. Re Reasonable Doubt is an iconic ass album. Paul's Boutique, yeah, for sure, for sure. Low end theory, not even a question. Oh, come on, <laughs> that's not even close. That's not even close. Uh, center of attention. Pete Rock was just a great rapper. Ill communication or death certificate? Oh, <laughs> I got... Listen... I respect the Beastie Boys, but I gotta go with Death Certificate for sure. Things Fall Apart, The Roots, classic. Big Pun, Capital Punishment, or Pinata, ooh, Capital Punishment, okay. Vince Staples, Summertime 06, or Born Like This, nah man, Summertime 06 is something different. Hitler wears Hermes, side B, forever is a mighty long time. And this one, for sure. It's dark and hell is hot. Not even a question, baby. Not even a question. I'm sorry. I am, I am sorry to by all means necessary. I love the album. I do. By the way, sorry, they're cutting grass outside. Um, by all means necessary. I love the album. It is a great Production, the beats are great. Everything's just immaculate on that shit. But truthfully, really, the some shady LP taste. I'm sorry, it just does, it just does. Some rap songs are Timmy to your leader. Timmy to your leader. Black bastards or no, my name is Jeffrey. I like black bastards better. If I'm being real. I don't like shit. I don't go outside. Stan nah, man. Stanconia is... OG, oh, yes, sir. Oh, Almighty So or Section 80? <sighs> See, Kendrick has so many better albums. But Chief Keef was so hot at the time. Man. I gotta go with All My E So. I think I have to. Oh, come on. This is not this is not even a question. A 10 out of 10 album. For sure. From a king to a god. Oh. This one. Naughty by Nature. Yeah, I gotta go with that. Doggy style? Yes. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Come on. It's Snoop. The Illmatic will win over most of these. The Illmatic is one of the greatest albums of all time. The Lost Tapes. Again, one of the greatest albums of all time. For sure. Descendants of Cain. Great album. Ready to Die. Great album. There's... 
a lot of these are not even fair to the other like most of these are like really really good albums but Method Man with Tycho College Drive dude this shit's not even fair honestly like it's not uh Fun Crusher Plus Illa Death Half Life nah bro Fun Crusher for sure May God bless your hustle, safe and sound. Um, hold on, let me let's back just put up a little bit. There we go. Okay. Um, Cypress Hill with Black Sunday. I think that's it's better. And by the way, I listened to all of these albums, <laughs> all of them. Um, uh, Red Man, there is a dark side. Is definitely. A better consensual album. Wu Tang Forever is legendary. I'm sorry. No disrespect to Lauren Hill, but. Manger on Big Nichols. Listen. Listen, 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 listen. You put Pac up against Pac. I mean, like, what What more do you want from me here? Me against the, the world? Or the Killuminati? I mean, I have to go with me against the world, right? It's Pox like coming of age album. Muddy Waters or Lifestyles over over the Porn Dangerous? I gotta go with Muddy Waters here on this one. Mmm, magic. Enter the Wu-Tang. Not even close. I'm sorry. Outcast is going to win a lot of these too. Beauty and the Beast. Nah, Wayne. The sun's tired, right? Doris. That's a really good album that Earl Sweatshirt made. The Cooler Run the Jewels 3. Run the Jewels 3. Sorry to say. It. Dude, Nas might win this whole thing unless they put some, like, great Kendrick stuff in there. Or some great M. Nicole. I mean, so far I haven't really peeped a whole lot of, uh, a lot of Cole or Kendrick, and there's been like one M album. Uh... Oh wait, are they cutting out a tree? Oh shit! Okay. Cool G Rap is gonna is gonna win most, or is gonna win a lot too. Souls of Mischief. I mean, they made a really great album, but yeah. I have to go with them. America's Most Wanted by Ice Cube or Alfredo? Alfredo is a great project, but America's Most Wanted is like peak Ice Cube. Food and liquor. Food and liquor. No doubt. The Blueprint? It's got Renegade on it. One of Emma's best verses of all time. Painful. It's not even a question. Yeezus was ass cheeks. Sorry, Kanye. DS2. Where your ass is at? And we was corn in the burnt. Mad villainy. Duh. Soul food. Pimp a butterfly! Come on, that's not even fair. Vaudeville villain. Six feet deep. Ooh. K 
cannabis is that one. Outcast. It's dark and hell is hot. Only by nature wins that one. Mmm. Ready to die. The blueprint, for sure. It's probably going to make it to the end. The low end theory. Ah, oh, Good Kid, Mad City. Tank forever. Great freaking album. Purple Moonlight Pages is pretty good, but not as good as The Roots as things fall apart. Oh, doggy style, doggy style, doggy style, doggy style. Almighty so. My beautiful dark twisted fantasy or Doris. The Illmatic, not even a question. Got some pretty good albums in here. Run the Jewels 3. Slim Shady LP. That's the only M album. It's crazy. The Drought. Oh. Stinktonia, for sure. Um, it was written. I think y'all can tell how much I fuck with Nas, huh? Food and liquor. When is that one? Oh, why are they doing this? Um, me against the world. I think that's what I'll pick. To be a butterfly, duh. They're they're. I'm already calling it right now. They're going to put To Pimba Butterfly up against Good Kid Mad City. I'm calling it right now. Uh, Black Sun is a great album, but Call Me If You Get Lost is one of the greatest albums of all time. Mad Villainy. Cycle. College Dropout. It's not even close. Center of Attention. Four, five, six. The lost tapes. This next round is gonna be a lightning round. Watch. The score. Painful. Okay, this is gonna be a lightning round. Easy. All right. On the jewels. It was written. You get lost. My beautiful dark is a fantasy. Good kid, man. Sitting. See, I told you. Wu Tang Forever. Capital Punishment. Lost Tapes. Mad Villainy. We're gonna put the Illmatic up against the Slim, against the Slim Shady LP, aren't? Uh, not by nature. Illmatic, duh. How is that even fair? That that's not a, uh, the blueprint. That that's not even fair. That's not even fair either. Slim Shady LP. I'm sorry, DMX. College dropout. Doggy style, baby. Pac is great, but my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. The blueprint over Wu Tang Forever. <sighs> You're kidding me, right? Nah, bruh. 
The Slim Shady LP or Good Kid Mad City? I mean, the impact that M had on the game with the Slim Shady LP is bigger than Kendrick had with Good Kid Mad City. I do think that in some ways, overall, Good Kid Mad City is better musically than the Slim Shady LP. But the Slim Shady LP, the impact that that album had is second to none. It's like... My name is the real Slim Shady, rock bottom, just don't give a fuck, still don't give a fuck. Whereas, like, Good Kid Mad City has some great songs. Great songs. But what does everybody remember it for? Mad City. It's one song compared to, like, seven. I'm sorry, Kendrick, but... Run the Jewels. These aren't my favorite albums of all time. Nas is up against Nas. That's funny. The Illmatic. Not fair. Not fair. Um, my villainy. It's a better overall rap album. Call me the gay loss. I do feel like My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy would beat To Pimp a Butterfly. But... Uh, Trap out doesn't beat it, so I gotta. Oh no! Ah uh, no 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 no! Again, the Illmatic is a better musical album than the Slim Shady LP. It's it's better in terms of its sound. It's better in terms of um its replayability. But the Slim Shady LP changed the way that rap was done forever. And M will never be able to capture that album again. There is there is no way. Whereas Nas, you can kind of argue that like Nas is still is still going strong and he's still kicking ass and like he has so many great albums where it's like M after 2004 kind of to me didn't have a great album after that. So, the Slim Shady LP, I feel like, is more significant because M had a fall-off, whereas Nas didn't have a fall-off. Listen, M is still my goat. There's no events about about that, but I do feel like in this instance, I have to pick the Slim Shady LP. To become a butterfly. Mad Villainy. Butterfly. Okay. Not fair. Not fair at all. my bias aside so out of all those albums some some of them were not really my favorites but out of all of those albums the best out of all of them was to pimp a butterfly so thank you guys and uh i'll be back in a second peace